Hey guys and girls, I'm Ellie and today we are watching Ruby Volume 7 episode or chapter, I'm still not sure what it is, 3 Ace Operatives Before we start I want to address like two points um, There seem to be two major discrepancies about last episode um, First of all the one that is less controversial um, The spot on the camera picture right in the end of the episode. Um, there has been discussion if that's a pool of blood or if it's a spot like just because Watts is hacking the camera. Um, I just want to say I still think it's blood. But that doesn't mean that both is not happening. Like Watts is still hacking cameras and Tyrion is still killing people no matter what it actually is. So, um, I just wanted to say that. I'm still thinking that it's probably a pool of blood because, well, Tyrion walks away from a crime scene most likely. But uh, yeah, the second discrepancy is a little bit more serious. Um, it has to do with Ruby lying. Um, what I found weird uh, was that a lot of other reactors, I'm watching other reactors, uh, didn't pick up on Ruby's careful wording. Um, because I think that's a very important point. Because she chose her words very carefully. She said, Ospin told us that there are three questions and none of them is left. She didn't tell Ironwood, however, that, well, there's still one left. But she didn't say it in a way that she lied. She just told him what Ospin told them. Uh, and kept a secret what they found out later. Uh, what I mean by that is, yes, it's still controversial what Ruby is doing. But you have to understand she's not actually lying. She's just... Well, doing it a little bit more, in a more refined way. Um, still, there's this major dispute over if she has the right to do that or not. Um, I have to say I understand both, both sides. Uh, I understand the side that's with Ironwood because he seems genuinely interested in the safety of all of them. He seems interested in working together. Um, I, I really, I'm really sorry that I ever thought he might be like bad, bad. Um, no, he he just does what he sees as the right thing, and uh, you can see that because his genuine smiles at some points. It's it's perfect. Um, but we have to say, um, last time, one of the headmasters got a little out of hand. Um, it got a little out of hand quickly uh, with Lionheart. It was a little bit, well, not good. So um, I can understand why Ruby wants to keep some of the information. And also, um, Ironwood is planning to tell the whole world about Salem. Like everyone. Uh, which means that the more Ironwood knows, the more the world knows. And uh, I think, like, the information Ironwood has now is still enough to cause a major panic. But if you put in all the information we found out in the chapter of the Lost Fable, it's gonna be even worse. Because there are the parts of the how can we defeat Salem you can't stuff and all of this um so yeah it's it's a dilemma <laughs> uh but i'm not gonna talk too much about it now we are at ace operatives i'm sorry if i discussed too much stuff um but yeah ace operatives we're going to find out more about the ace ops it's going to be fun. Also, hopefully, outfit upgrades, weapon upgrades, because we're an Atlas and we're only getting the best of the best. Also, I'm wearing the Yang shirt because 
I guess this will be one of the last times we see her in this particular outfit because she's gonna get a new one. And I'm hyped for that. I wanna see them in action. Like, yeah, we see them in the intro, but you know, it's still something different to see them in the actual show. So I guess we will just start and there's a bird flying right across my window. Okay, we'll start. <laughs> Also, like the lyrics of the intro have the line, though it's uncertain if we're together moving towards the light when we trust in love and open up our, our eyes. It's, I think it kind of describes what they have with Ironwood right now. It's uncertain if they're like together, working together, together. <laughs> um, but they're still moving towards the light. Like they, they all have a plan and they all want to reach the same thing. They just maybe go about this plan with some other, well, methods and stuff. Let's start with Ruby, volume seven, episode three, because it's an E and not a C. So episode three. Ace operatives. And actually, like, the, the description is very, very short this time. Out in the snowy tundra, the ace ops show teams Ruby and Junior the ropes. Okay. So it's going to be a training montage? I guess. I don't know. Would be interesting to see. We didn't have that for, like, a long time. But yeah. Let's start with Ace Operatives, and I can't wait to find out more about them. In three, two, 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 one, and go. I don't know if my singing voice is okay today. Keep dreaming about a better world. You keep wishing for some clarity. Always hoping that a lightning bolt is gonna save you from this gravity. You're holding up for some romantic love. Maybe you wake up in a world of charm. Oh, but it's here can set you free. You don't have to dream. Your life's a masterpiece. If you just believe, and all you see is all you need right now. A shatter this point is ever after, but in time you'll find through love your path just shines when you don't know where to turn to, and you sure all hope is gone. When the day you've waited for won't come, the dark won't yield to dark. Trust me, and open up your eyes. Trust me. Sometimes I think this guy's built to we're together Moving towards the light Stay in love and open up our eyes Yeah, some people pointed out that the staff of creation is behind the created by Montium and that is brilliant. And I love that shot. Wow, that's beautiful. All right, gather round. Our mission today is to secure the launch site for the Amity Communications Tower. Okay, it's a mission. Designated area is an abandoned dust mine. Since its closure, the Grim have moved in. The good news is all that untouched dust is still down there, too. Science team says they'll need it for the first phase of their launch. Apologies for the mess and for holding on to your weapons for so long. The upgrades you requested were, uh, well, there were more than I anticipated. Okay. <laughs> Atlas military hunters okay. are already hard at work clearing out the surrounding tundra. But Recon has identified a powerful geist that's managed to evade destruction. Oh, that's the geist grown from the... After we increased we've our seen. numbers, the geist was smart enough to retreat into the mine itself. Meaning it's old Ooh. and extremely dangerous. This well. is our target. Your new weapons and armor Why not? be as requested. But I also took the liberty of reviewing your combat footage from the Vital Festival Tournament. There's okay. Some additional enhancements I'd like to suggest. Uh, oh, but for now, uh, these should serve you well enough. The mine was a labyrinth okay. back in the day. 
There's all sorts of tunnels and chambers the guys can move between. Okay. So if we're gonna kill this thing, we'll have to split up and corner it. Oh. General Ironwood says you've seen your fair share. He's of here. Power. Okay. I trust that man with my life. <laughs> Lake's here too. <laughs> so tomorrow, I'll be trusting you all too. <laughs> New cape. Hey, Ruby. Okay. What does he want to talk about? I want to hear it right now. Let's there are the outfits. <laughs> Why no comment about them? You saw. Sorry I'm not talking much and I want to hear that song. <laughs> and that's basically the promo stuff we got. Okay, now, now those guys. Okay. Nice. This is my favorite part. <laughs> okay. John, you can do this. Wow, okay, his shield actually got an upgrade. <laughs> Perhaps you kids won't get yourselves killed after all. That's a very she positive that outlook. Yeah, yeah, just do. This is Alpha Squad. I like Crow's Russian outfit clear. too. Proceeding on foot. You've all got fancy new scrolls, so don't forget to use them. Keep your eyes and ears open. <laughs> okay. I want an update if you encounter the target. Those are really fancy. Huh? Uh, sorry, just not used to the new hair yet. <laughs> Is it bad? No, no, it's good. Great, even. Man, I did not sign up to be a babysitter. <sighs> yeah, well, the rest of us babysit you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> that That's fair. But still, I, I love Yang's reaction to the hair. Oh, why We're going in and fighting a geist. It's freezing out here! Without heating or a projected aura, the cold of Solitas can kill you in a matter of hours. I suddenly don't feel as bad about leaving Oscar behind. Okay. Can we talk about that again? Yeah, Ironwood wants to keep him, probably. What about it? We're really not going to tell Ironwood what happened to Oz? What we learned about Jin? About Salem? We are! Just we will. Not now. But you saw how things looked when we flew into Atlas. The general's heart seems to be in the right place, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean we should trust him yet. We need to play along for a while before we make any major decisions. Okay. How did Oscar feel yeah, about Yeah, Yang that? is still no lies, no half-truth stuff. Uh, probably shouldn't keep running around with an ancient relic on a keychain, you know? But... I know you'll keep it safe in Atlas. Ruby, hiding things from Ironwood... Doesn't that feel like what Ozpin did to us? Mm, that's the part. Gotta say, I'm still not really used to working with other huntsmen in the field. But you were on a team before, weren't you? <laughs> yeah. A long time ago. Are we going to get some Stark stuff? Alone tends to be for the best. Well, I think that's a shame. <laughs> Bad luck and good luck. I love it. Here. Give me an update. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. We should be approaching the actual mine any minute now. This is so exciting! It feels like we're an actual huntsman team! I, um, like what you did with your outfit, Ren. Oh, we Nora. should probably stay focused on the mission. Oh, Nora just wanted to flirt oh, a little. Okay. I like your outfit, too. Hm. Bravo, yeah, Nora friend. doesn't want to hear yeah, it from you, swag. John. Is when she a wants to hear from entrance. her man. Not sure if it's recent or was caused by the original accident. Either way, we'll have to do a little problem solving. Original accident? Understood. Let us know if you need anything. You okay? I just realized where we are. This mine was closed after an explosion. I know. I remember this disaster. Or rather, I remember how furious it made my father. 
I wish I could take back the years of pain my family has caused the Faunus, mm. and all of my complacency in it. This society is set up for Faunus to be at the bottom, and humans are willing participants. They benefit from doing nothing to help us, but there are still those who actively abuse us. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't come over here looking to solve systemic societal issues. Harriet found a gap in the rubble we think one of you could fit through. Ideally, someone with a knack for seeing in the dark? <coughs> Uh, oh, yeah, like, you're the one. Um, all the others would need a flashlight. Yeah, all right, Yang's Blake. still worried. Take a look around. We there all know what dust. kind of accident area. that was. Mine cards, Explosion uh, in the dust mines. Debris. No dust, though. Great, then it should be safe to blast our way through. Okay, heading back. Okay. Blake, stand back! Oh, I like that. <laughs> Don't let it get away! Huh? Yeah, those are the weird caterpillar thingies. Yeah, just punch it. Punch it. Oh. And there are more of them. Because why not? That's disgusting. Yeah, and now fight. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's new. And she can turn. Okay. Like what they did until now? Boomerang! <laughs> Stay. Okay. I guess Is that's that like his semblance? Target, let's into the or mine. something? Engaging Sentinel. Let's pick up the pace! Yeah, just go. <laughs> Contact. Wow. Okay, I'm kind of confused about some of the things they are doing, but I still like it. <laughs> A very head-first approach. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's just. They're always doing that. Oh god, it's gonna take some time until they actually accept how those three are doing things. I got it. Whoa! Your semblance makes you super fast, just like me. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Well, based on your reaction time, I'd say I'm a little faster. This is oh. Alpha. We've engaged the target. <laughs> Head towards our position. Fishing pole guy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it's a geist. Did you really think it's doing anything? Catching him like that. Now it's the guy's room from the intro, I guess. Uh oh. Wait! Stop! Darn it. Target escaped. Last scene headed east. Thanks for the call out. That could have been bad. Yeah. I wouldn't thank me. <laughs> My semblance brings misfortune. Sometimes I can't now... keep it under control. That's so? Well, hey, don't beat yourself up about it. My semblance is good fortune. Lucky you, huh? Yes! <laughs> Charlie, bravo. You should be able to cut off the target at the heart of the mine. Crow and Aww, I won't Crow. be far behind. <laughs> yeah, that's... I'm gonna put that off again. Because that was just like one little scene. And I freaked out about it, I know. Ooh. Ooh. That, that was... Guys! Everyone use caution. 
This a hot surface. highly active with dust energy. Triggering it could ruin the launch site. And vaporize us. How is that always second with you? I thought the yeah. target was supposed <laughs> to be in here. Um, it's up there. Have fun, guys. <laughs> uh, that's... It added dust to its body. How are we supposed to? <gasps> yeah, how? Help! Like the Aesops are doing it. I really like that one. <laughs> Yeah, okay, it, it fits with his name. Marrow. Boomerang! I don't know, I just love boomerangs. Uh, Harriet. Oh. That's a start. <laughs> yeah, th they're not doing much. <laughs> There he what is. Would you guys do without me. Well, now we see how those are doing. That's definitely great teamwork there. <laughs> Okay. I still like her like arm thingies. Yep, catch it. Catch it. <laughs> Go, Ruby! <laughs> I thought you said your semblance was like mine. It is? A little? I've seen other speed semblances before. That... that was different. I think there's more going on than you think. Wait until she sees what she could do with her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well... Oh, Lucky catch, have, huh? have you seen that, <laughs> Ruby on the shoulder? I chalked that one up to talent. Atlas Control, <laughs> this is Clover. Mission accomplished. Well, that one will. Oh, yeah, hi, that's for the lift. Forest, right? Man. Are we gonna meet Robin? Yeah. Oh, that would be huh? great. Or is he gonna get in trouble? I don't want him to get in trouble right now. He He's funny. Whoa. God, right. that was... <sighs> Me? Tyrion! Don't well, do anything to him. I'm someone just like you. <clears throat> someone who wants to mix things up around here. <laughs> no. <sighs> Rest in peace, Forest. F you, Tyrion. Okay, so we're gonna get. I, I, I'm curious if that will be like the the structure going forward, like the episode being the teams and well, you know, um, the last sliver of the episode being, you know, ah, uh, that's where they try to decide what part of dog they wanted to give him. <laughs> I still like what they did, actually. Well, um, th there was a lot. Like, outfits, weapons, semblances of the others. Like, it's... Th this is a lot to take in right now. <laughs> um, yeah. I guess I'm going to do that just like that. Uh, I think that was the fastest I ever moved. 
but uh, I kind of just want to go I'm not going to show you that uh, let me just end my recording because else it's probably gonna error again <laughs> we don't want that but yeah um, they left Oscar behind. Um, now, the question is if they did it to keep him safe and keep the relic safe, or if Ironwood actually wants to keep him there. Because um, that's basically what I thought about. Um, yeah, keeping him secure because Oz is in there. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I'm just like seeing Jean very worried about what it is that's in his box um yeah uh, the 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 pure stuff is still like carrying on i mean he got closure but that doesn't mean that he doesn't want to still remember her yeah ruby got a new cape and there are the outfits and then we got the showcase like um we saw in the promo um, a little bit longer, of course, and with the freaking good new song. I, I like that song, like, from the sound of it. Uh, I didn't make out all the lyrics, but something with Touch the Sky and... I don't know, like, like it w was a very positive song, I think, if I got everything right. But yeah, seeing their new outfits in action... Um, I have to say... I'm starting, they, they're they starting to really grow on me, the outfits. I, I okay, I, I have to say it, I freaking love Weiss's outfit. I, I don't know, I just love it. it it's so, it's so flowy and like most of the times we had just like either short dresses and skirts or we had like trousers. But what she's wearing now, it's like a little bit longer and it is something different. And I, I, I really like that. I'm like, the others are growing on me too. <laughs> yeah, the showcase. Yoo-hoo. And yeah, then the others are with two of the other Aesops. Crow and Clover. Okay, um... Let me talk about those two. I, I find that matchup really nice. Like, I I want the, those two to do more stuff. Like, to bond a little bit, to, to be friends. Because I think it will help Crow a lot. Crow was in a difficult place in some of the previous volumes. And I really think Clover could be, like, a friend he needs to make it better, you know? Uh, to make him feel like he's not too burdened by his semblance anymore. I mean, yeah, it could be like some sort of jealousy going on, like, oh God, he got the good luck stuff. Um, but I think it's more likely that he learns to live normally and uh, that Clover is gonna help him and I really want that for him because I love Crow. I love Crow's character development um, because he he changed. And I hope he's gonna get over all his freaking problems. I mean, he's not gonna forget them just as John is not gonna forget Pyrrha, but getting over it, you know? And uh, I think Clover is the right man to do that for Crow. And the fancy new scrolls, I like them. The, the, the aura bars at the side. And then Yang's comment about the hair, that she's not used to it. Oh, and, and Blake blushing, that's so cute. <sighs> yeah, and then Mero is like babysitting. Uh, <laughs> and Harriet is like, we're, we're babysitting you all the time. I love that. And yeah, then, then it's the juicy talk. The talk about keeping things from Ironwood. You can see that Yang is still the one who doesn't want to keep any secrets, who wants everyone to tell the truth. Um, she's the one that has a major problem with what Ruby did. Um, yeah, she's playing along right now, but uh, you can see that she's the worried one right now. Um, and I can understand it. It's... it's like, fitting with a character. 
She was like that all the time. Uh, she doesn't want people to keep stuff from her. Uh, she wants to work together and be honest with each other. That That's, that's Yang. Um, the other ones are pretty much in the clear that they cannot trust Ironwood at the moment like that. And they have to play along and wait for the right moment to tell him. Um, I think that's what I got from Weiss and Blake both. Um, and I'm kind of with them, but I can understand Yang very much. Um, because, yeah, it is pretty much like what Oz did. With the exception that Oz did actually lie to them. Uh, <laughs> like I said in the beginning, Oz actually lied. They were just keeping information. Um, which still doesn't mean that it's great. I, every path is gonna have some problems. But I like that they addressed that. Um, and then, yeah. Um, oh, the Nora part where she complimented Ren and Ren was just like focused on the mission. Oh, I felt so bad for her at that moment. Like she just... It would have been enough for her if he just like complimented her back. And I mean, Jean did that, but she doesn't want to hear it from Jean. So basically, trouble in paradise? I don't want that. Please tell me that some, like they, they focused on that for a little amount of time. So I hope that they like address it more. So that will get a little bit more Renora stuff down the line. But I still felt so bad for Nora. She she was so hurt. Yeah, then they were in the dust mines. Wow, um, the part that exploded. And we all know. We all know what kind of person Blake is thinking about right now. We, we all know that. We knew about the explosion in the dust mines. Where someone's parents were killed. Yeah, and Blake is feeling so bad for it. Like, but um, it, it kind of picks up what I wanted to have from this volume. A little bit more about what the SDC is doing with the Faunus. And how people are dealing with that. You know? And... Um, talking like I, I hope Blake chooses to talk about it at some point her doubts and what she has like Yang is still worried about her because while well, the Adam stuff didn't go down very smoothly um, and yeah I mean even though Ilya is on their side there's still this whole past haunting her uh, all those stories about Fawn is being killed and yeah, I, I bet it's hard for Blake to go there. But I like that Weiss took like the initiative and told her like, I, I'm not happy with what is happening right now and uh, that I didn't do anything and I, I love that. And also like the Ace Ops do have Faunus. I mean... Mero was talking about that. He he was like, yeah, this, this social hierarchy, uh, and I, I'm not here to change that right now, but it's bad. <laughs> and, yeah. Speaking about, no, semblances and weapons, I, I, I really want to talk about that. Uh, Emerselica, I have that right now here. Actually, like, it had... It has gotten some upgrades, of it, like already in a, in the visuals. Uh, it's different. Um, I like it. And what Yang did then, like she punched, and instead of actually like shooting, she she kind of shot something out. She shot uh, dust uh, vials out, and then they exploded afterwards. And I like that. We got. Yeah, Blake has her weapon once again, and it's not freaking broken. I love it. Um, Ruby can turn her scythe into the other direction if she has to. Um, 
that's great. <laughs> I mean, it, it helps a lot if, if the first scythe is like on the wrong side of something. Um, yeah, the boomerang. And okay, uh, that was something like Meryl was snapping and I don't know, time slowed down or something for the Grim. I don't know what happened actually. But I understand why he would want to work with Harriet then. Because she's super fast and if he can dial down time, that would be a great matchup. Of course. Um, yeah, uh, I guess that's a semblance. I mean, what else would it be? Um, Harriet's semblance is being super fast and also her reaction time is super fast. Um, the the arm thingies, like the... the I, I like it because it's not like, okay, you don't have arms, you have to have mechanical ones. No, you have arms and you're gonna strengthen them with mechanical ones. And uh, I, I kind of like that idea. Um, yeah, Elm and Vine are there too, which is very, like, it, it kind of confused me, like, Vine can do the arm thingy, so is it still his semblance, what Elm is doing with her foot, or is that her semblance? Like, have they so similar semblances, or is it one semblance moving on to the other? That, that's, that's what I don't really understand right now. Um, yeah, Jean's shield got an upgrade and stuff. Yeah, and it's gonna be hard for the Aesops to actually be, you know, um, impressed by them because, like, we, we know they are the ace operatives. They are the good ones, basically. Uh, yeah, Crow and Clover again. I really like that matchup. It's like, okay, Harriet and Mero work well together with a whole slowing down time, if it if it's like that, and being fast stuff. Uh, Vine and Elm, if they really have those two semblances that are so, so similar, then they work together so well. And then, Clover is the odd one out. Who are we gonna put in there? We're gonna put Crow in there, because that's a great mashup. Thank you. I rest my case. <laughs> I don't know. It's just... Um, and then, like, the teamwork from the Aesops. That that was great. Like, they know how to work together. I probably worked together for a really long time. Which gives me, like, the, the a little bit of a thinking, um, because... Well, how long did they work together? Did they go to school together? Because there are five of them, and they're... It, there's no way they have been all in one team because there's five of them. So um, they can't work together since school times, but maybe they were friends. I, I really want to know more about like the backstory. <laughs> okay, I just have the best screenshot option of all time. Um, I needed to screenshot that <laughs> because that it's 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 Mero throwing his boomerang, but his face is just sorry, but it it kind of looks like Tyrion's face. <laughs> um, yeah, Harry getting the head start. Yeah, and how how the fishing pole wrapped around the mask, like wow, that was great. And then in the end. Ruby catching the dust. Because Harriet was too slow. Um, and Harriet saying that, that she's seen speed semblances and that Ruby's is different. I am curious if we're going to talk about that more. But uh, yeah, actually the comment of Yang, like, <laughs> wait, wait until she finds out what she can do with her eyes. <laughs> Yeah, and making Blake laugh. Or oh, Blake looks so cute when she's laughing. Like the little 
I, I love it. <laughs> okay, Weiss's look is like queen. <laughs> She's such a queen. Like, yeah, I, I can see that. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have that last scene. Um, I'm sorry I talked so much about all the other stuff, but um, yeah. I kind of wanted to. I hope you don't mind. But yeah, Tyrion. Fucking Tyrion. Sorry, I, th that, this is no content for kids. Fucking Tyrion probably killed our friend from the jail ship. Our friend that threw a freaking brick. He did nothing wrong. He just threw a brick. Forrest was his name. And I thought he would take us to Robin so we could finally meet her. But no. Tyrion has to find him. Tyrion has to kill him. Tyrion, I'm starting to hate you so much. Because I have a soft spot for people throwing bricks. Or getting hit by bricks. Depends on the situation. Um, for everyone who knows Heroes of Olympus, the books, um, brick. Uh, yeah, but still, Tyrion, no, stop it, just stop it. I don't want this. Yeah, and then the whole concept art, Team Junior enters here, Crow enters here. Yeah, but that's it, guys and girls. Um, I don't want to pick any gender. Um, yeah, that was episode three, Ace Operatives. And we saw a lot of them. We saw how they fight, how they work together. And actually, I like them. I like them very much. Like, um, like I liked Elm from the first time she was like super happy. Th that that sold me. Harriet is a cool girl. Like she she's she's awesome. Marrow is funny. I I love him. Like he with his boomerang and his like he has to be babies. <laughs> uh, um, Vine is is a little bit hard to warm up to but he has like he's he he's different and that's that's what i appreciate about it like um and then clover of course uh together with crow awesome awesome team <laughs> so i i really like the aesops they they're a cool bunch and uh what i remembered what i said during the episode too like uh when Crow and Clover were, like, talking. And um, Crow was saying, yeah, that he's mostly working alone. And then, yeah, well, you had to add a team at some point, you know. I really hope we're getting a little bit more Stark stuff. Because I need it. I need that in my life. Please. Give me Team Stark. Give me Team Stark. Give me more SDC background, give me the background for the Aesops. I, I just want to know everything. I mean, even if we get like one major info dump again, I, I'm sorry, but I want to know it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think that's it. Um, about the Ironwood stuff again, uh, we only addressed it in that one little conversation but don't get me wrong uh i still think that ironwood has its heart in his right place like yeah that the tin man has a heart he does and um i still think that we could trust ironwood i just don't think like but i can understand that Ruby wants to have the right to decide when to trust him. Because they can't be sure. Because they they don't see everything we see as like fans and watchers. Because 
Yeah, we saw the font smiles every time. That doesn't mean that Team Ruby and that those guys saw it, you know? Um, which means that I'm kind of on the side of Blake and Weiss saying that we should wait a little, play along a little and then tell him, but not do it in a way that he might distrust us later. Um, we, we can't make that mistake because that's gonna be bad. Uh, if he finds out about it and finds out, oh my god, no, they were lying or keeping secrets. And then he's gonna be suspicious all the time. Now, um, when the time comes to tell Ironwood about all the stuff, it has to be perfect. The timing has to be perfect. And, well, they have to tell him alongside, like... We didn't know if we could trust you at the moment, but we know we can trust you now. And then tell him. Because we have to keep being friends with Ironwood. Because else is, everything's going to shit if we don't. But yeah, uh, that's it for today, I guess. I think I talked a lot and I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it's a bad thing. Um. I don't know if I'm gonna cut any of this, I'm, but probably not. I'm just gonna... I mean, it's just gonna be a long-ass video. But... <laughs> I guess next week is gonna be the next episode. Um, just telling you, because uh, last time I said that it reminded... Like, the Atlas stuff reminded me so much of the story that I wrote, um, or that I'm still writing. Uh, if you want to know more about that, or if you want to get like some, maybe like a weekly chapter or something. I don't know, just 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 throwing that out there. If you want something like that, if you want to read or listen to my writing, um, I don't say it's good, but if you want to just tell me in the comments down below and maybe I'll going, I'm going to do something about it at some point. Maybe when I edit it, because I think it's bad right now. But anyway, on this note, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!